Okay, so hello and welcome to the first episode video thing of this series where we're going to be looking at the Python programming language. So if you're interested in learning Python, you know, from beginning to end, absolutely every single aspect of it, it's probably not going to be the lecture series for you. Uh, instead, we're going to be looking at the basics, the fundamental uh, basics of the program of the Python programming language, um, so that then we can get into more interesting and more um, more cool things. Um, so. As you can see, it's brought to you by the uh, University of Hull Robotics Society, and we are going to be um, aiming towards the robotics side of things. So we're going to do computer vision and ROS-based things. Um, so, yeah, uh, hopefully it will be okay. So first of all, why, of course, why, why should we learn Python? Or if you haven't learned, learned a language before, why should you learn a programming language? Uh, and why should you start with Python? Specifically, Python is a well. It's platform independent, meaning that if you, it doesn't matter if you've got a Windows, Mac, or a Linux machine, it will run on anything, which is really really useful, um, especially when you know things like C sharp. Uh, you need lots of other different things to get it to work on, on uh, Linux or, or Mac. You need to download a few more things, uh, so it makes it really really easy. Um, you know, we don't need anything else. We can just write our program and it will work anywhere, which is nice. There's also an abundance of packages. There are loads of packages out there. And what I mean by pa packages, um, uh, packages are another name for a library, essentially. So if you're coming from a C Sharp or C++ background, a package is basically a library. And Python has loads of them. It has, it has packages for everything, for machine learning, for robotics, for computer vision, for web stuff, you, for server side things. You can, there's so much, uh, so many packages for Python that it makes things really, really easy. And it follows into the next point, which is rapid prototyping. You know, you can you can write a Python program um, so much faster than you can a C++ program. Um, you know, you can you, uh, you can import uh, you know a package quite happily, quite easily, and get it doing the same thing as a C++ program, you know, in half the time easily. So it's really, really good language for just rapid prototyping and get it out there. And it's also really easy to use. It's it's um, kind of, uh, it was made as a beginner's language, but it certainly isn't, It you know, so it can be used by anyone, uh, and any form of profession, and you know it could be used by experts and you know people who are you know up there at Google and DeepMind and stuff like that. So yeah, it's easy to use, but it is so powerful at the same time. Again, as this is the uh, robotics-based series, um, you know we will be looking at ROS, and it is one of the main languages of ROS and ROS two. If you know a little bit about ROS or Python in general. Uh, in ROS, uh, it's uh, I think the main main part, uh, main aspect of Python is two point five or two point eight, and ROS two we go up to three point five, which is really really awesome. Uh, but yeah, it's one of the main languages of ROS um, uh, again with C plus uh, plus. We've also got OpenCV, so um, I put C sharp and C plus plus in in little brackets there, and that's because OpenCV can be used in both C sharp and C plus plus, but it is so much easier to write an OpenCV application in Python. It's so much quicker, it's fast, it, it's just so, so easy. So, so easy. Uh, and of course, you know, we've got the main one at the bottom, which is PyTorch. Um, if you don't know what PyTorch is, or TensorFlow or something like that, it's uh, basically a package with a huge numbers of machine learning um, kind of things in there that you can do with it. It's a It's an awesome package and um, I think it was developed by Facebook. So loads of people are using PyTorch and TensorFlow and Python works with both TensorFlow and obviously PyTorch. Now how do you learn Python? Well first of all you need to get it. You need to get Python, uh, you need to get an IDE which is an integrated development environment and then you just simply have to start building stuff. You know, just don't you know, you can learn from books and stuff, but really the best way to learn is get a project and just do it. And you learn on the job, essentially. So an IDE is somewhere where we can write code. Um, 
it's it's a posh it's basically a posh text editor where you can write code debug code and stuff like that and the main ones that can be used for python are visual studio visual studio code and um pycharm so uh the next three videos are going to be uh, an installer video of how to install python for Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code and PyCharm. So depending on which one you're going to use, just go to whichever video you want. Um, but, uh, just want one thing to mention is that Visual Studio, this one, where's my mouse gone, there is. Visual Studio is only available for Windows machines at the moment. There is a Mac version, I'm not sure how good it is. Uh, but Visual Studio Code, this one, that is for Windows, Mac and Linux machines and PyCharm is for Windows, Mac and Linux machines as well. PyCharm is, um, in my opinion, one of the best uh, Python editors you can get and yeah, but we'll be doing an installer for all of them so yes, uh, next video will be the installers so click whichever one you need uh, or you're going to install. Cool, so that's basically it and let's start installing Python.